gentlemen, welcome back to a very special episode of Fairy Boss Opinions. It's our only video this week. We're doing League One. It's week 12. Really quickly, I have to get all the housekeeping out of the way before we get into the scores. Uh, please have a look below if you want to see the timestamps or the chapters feature, but don't do that. There's only six matches and we are going to tear through it this week, but we're actually up to date for once so we can tell you what's actually happening. Not an imaginary situation. Also, we're an Amazon affiliate. If you're in the UK, please have a click below. Uh, uh, there's a free audible trial, there's some free trials down there, it's all good, it's all gravy, do that, there's some charities that we support, but enough of that, Ian, I think I lost you last week in predictions. It seems like a long time since we've done League One, Thomas, and now we've got to do a stupid week where it's been decimated by bloody oh. international fixtures, but just to catch you up on uh, a couple of, of the our predictions, how we're getting on between the two of us. So the last round, which was week 11, I did actually finally get a win. Thanks mostly to getting Oxford to score right, but I did win that one by nine to seven. However, I am still trailing Tom by two, because if you go back, it's something we've forgotten about. If you go back to week 10, Thomas, you beat me by a single point, And that was for two points because of a tie earlier on. So Boom. you were up by three. I've managed to pull it back to 6-4. Um, obviously, hoping that with this reduced... I don't know whether this is not going to play in anyone's favour. I don't know why I'm saying it. Let's just hope I can pull another one back. Um, do you have any more grandstanding or hot dogging to do, Thomas? Yes, go to Grandstand Betters. They're really good. And with that said, Hull City versus Burton Albion. Surely this has to be a Hull City win, Thomas. Burton Albion, only one win this season. Hull City... 1-7, lost three, coming off the back of a cup defeat to Fleetwood. They'll be desperate to get back to winning ways. They've had a really good season. They're going to take it out on this Burton side, aren't they? Or do you have any hope for the Brewers? No, I mean, I'm really, you know, mediocrity incarnate Burton. It looked like everything was going right for them. They were leading after 50 minutes, 59 minutes, basically. And then they had to concede a goal in the 98th minute to anti-football themselves, Shrewsbury Town, and draw one all. Do you know, I didn't even, I actually... I actually didn't realise that was 1-1. One, one. And when you like put that in on predictions that we both got a point, I was like, oh, he's got that one wrong. And then I saw this 98-minute equaliser. Brutal. Crazy stuff. Absolutely brutal. Um, they are having a truly dreadful year. Uh, they lost to Barnet 1-0 in the FA Cup. Uh, I mean, Burton fans, tell us what it's like, because obviously you've always been a small club and you haven't had a lot of money. And losing Clough, who was like your identity, this has been a big deal. And the team just, they don't seem to be able to do it this year. They don't, they don't look good. Hull are going to win this game 3-0. Uh, yeah, I think that Hull are going to win this game. I'm going to go more. I, I want lots of goals in these six games. 4-1 to Hull. Wow, that is a mauling. You a mauling, Ian. You could say Burton are going to Hull and back. Oh. Northampton Town versus Accrington Stanley. So, Stanley did not play uh, last week in the league. They were against Hull, but I believe that was called off for Corona or one of those weird things. Uh, they've only played seven games. They're 14th in the table. They lost 2-1 to Tranmere in the FA Cup. But I get the distinct feeling that most clubs in League One are happy to be out of the FA Cup. In fact, if they were given the option of being in it or not, especially with no fans, they have zero interest in being in it. Speaking so of sides that went out of the FA Cup, Thomas, let's talk about Northampton side going out to Oxford City. Fantastic result for the hoops. Well done, boys. Fly in the flag for Oxfordshire, seeing as Oxford United have already gone out. Uh, but they played really well as well and deserved it. But Northampton are also struggling. 17th place in League One. Aki, though, they're doing well considering they've only played seven games. But that is killing them, the fact that they've had so many games called off. Ian? They're getting promoted. This is this year's Wiccan Wanderers. Get in on the boat while it's still out to sea, mate. That Sold. doesn't make any sense. Sold. I'm having the Cobblers winning 2-1. Oh, boo. Wait. Cobblers is Northampton, isn't it? Oh, God. Listen, to this. Listen to this savant of League One talking there. Of course it is. Oh, right. I thought I was right. Uh, there's absolutely no way that happens. Stanley to win 1-0. Anti-football themselves, Shrewsbury Town versus Ian's mortal enemy, Swindon Town. A lot of garbage sides playing each other, aren't there, this weekend with Shrewsbury playing oh. Swindon. Both these oh. sides, again, not in good form. Uh, I'm just going to talk on Swindon. Obviously, I'm not going to harp on too much, but yeah, they did get a win and then followed that up with a loss to Plymouth, I believe, in the last game. Um, but obviously, the big news around Swindon is Wellins jumping ship 
and going to a side in the league below. Unbelievable scenes, Jeff. Unbelievable. Honestly. Probably on more money. Probably on more money, probably working with better owners and probably not stuck in Swindon. So, you know, like there's a lot of pluses that have just happened to him right there. If you can remove the bile of the fact that I'm an Oxford fan, please let us know, Swindon fans, what you think. Let us know if that was a shock, whether you expected it. And let us know who you want replacing uh, Wellins. Um, this one's not going to be many goals in it, is it? Because the Shrews don't like to play football. No, I mean, they barely got through that last match to one all. Obviously, it took a 98th minute equaliser against Burton. And they are just gross. But at home... I mean, they beat Cambridge in the FA Cup. I mean, that's a, that's a team below them, but well, they are... one game all season. Yeah, I mean, it's... You feel like this is a chance for Swindon, a real chance to get... You know what they're going to do? Swindon are going to win this game, and they're going to separate themselves from the team that currently is just below them in the relegation zone. And can you remind me what team that is, by the way? Uh, Wigan. Yes, Wigan United. Uh, yeah, I think Swindon are going to win this game 2-1. Yeah, well, it is a good opportunity for them if they do get a win to sort of pull themselves clear of the drop zone, as you said. But I think Shrewsbury... Actually, I think it's going to be a draw. I'm not going to back Swindon for defeat for once. I'm going for a 1-1 draw. Yeah. Classic Shrewsbury. I, I, I don't understand why I've just predicted anyone to beat Shrewsbury. This is a poor decision on my part. I'm regretting my decision eventually. Let's Swindon. move on, though. Because it's Green Army versus Pompey. Undoubtedly the tie of the round. This one should be a really good game. Plymouth have been the great entertainers so far. Seem to love to score a lot of goals, play a lot of entertaining football. Up against the Portsmouth side who are just outside the playoffs, but kind of have got over their little slump. They won two yeah. games in a row. Two good wins for Pompey. Yeah. They beat Lincoln beat. away. Yeah. And they beat Ipswich away in the FA Cup. So certainly got over their little slump and uh, did well. Plymouth were their swashbuckling best against Swindon Town. They banged four past them. Yes, Swindon had a man sent off, but that's because Plymouth are just so good at football. They're having a pretty decent year right now. Uh, they're just outside the playoff places. They're three points below. They're right next to Portsmouth in the table, yep. though. So this really is a this is a game to get into the, the playoff places. It is, I've yep. just said the same sentence like three times in a row. So right, I'm clearly good. done talking. Uh, Ian, Green Army or Pompey? <laughs> I'll just give Plymouth one final shout out for beating fucking Charlton. That's like the hardest team to beat at the moment. So Probably. fair play for them to do in that. Insane. Um, I'm going for a high scoring game. Uh, I'm going for, ultimately, I'm going for a Pompey win, which is unlike me because I usually back Plymouth at home. But I'm going Plymouth 2, Portsmouth 3. I don't know if you saw it, but I'd put my score in the, the dark right before you were saying that. I'm going 4-3 to Portsmouth. It's going to be a cracker. No. Cracker! Cracker! Sunderland versus, for some reason, a side that Tom has some weird love affair with, the Milton Keynes Dons. MK Dons are easily the most entertaining, entertaining, entertaining side in League One. They dominate the ball. They dominate the opposition teams. All that's missing from the way they play football is goals. I've heard rumors that Pep Guardiola pops down once a month and does some training sessions with them because he's so impressed. And Pep Guardiola also doesn't believe in strikers, so he really, really, really likes what they're doing. That being said, they had a pretty dour nil-nil draw against Northampton. Uh, I, I, I'm not going to predict that MK Don's win in this, but I'll, I'll let you talk about Sunderland really quickly. Yeah, Sunderland are going to win this game, Thomas, no doubt about it, because Milton Keynes Dons love to flatter to deceive, because anybody who is clearly just a coach like yourself um, just loves those possession stats and gets like too much of a hard-on for those possession stats when what really matters is freaking goals. Goals and wins, and that's what MK Dons are severely lacking. Sunderland are coming off the back of two wins in the league. They did bow out of the FA Cup just you know strategic so they can concentrate on the overall goal exactly. of promotion uh they're gonna win they, they don't score huge numbers so it's gonna be two nil to sunderland no problem whatsoever uh, i'm gonna go two one um i have uh, no idea why i'm predicting why do i get the feeling goal. next week on very biased opinions folks you'll be saying tom will be saying milton Keynes had 70 percent position <laughs> and lost four nil <laughs> Remind me if you've heard this way, Ian. Milton Keynes played well and lost. I know. And scored no yeah. goals. Funnily enough, they even lost to Oxford, Tom. That's how bad they are. Crew Alexandra, first league leading in high flyers. Leeds are reunited. Crew are in a bad, really bad form. Uh, they did win in the FA Cup, but they're not doing well. And Peterborough are just absolutely flying. Who did they beat in the FA Cup, Thomas? Uh, Oxford United. 
They did indeed. They beat Oxford United for the second time this season. And for the second time this season, it was Oxford played well, but ultimately lost. So you have to ask, how well did they actually play? Um, Very well. They just look so strong. They look really like they just, they clearly, I mean, all the things we talked about at the start of the season of this being a revenge season and them having the bit between their teeth, they look like they're absolutely going for it. And they haven't yeah. lost it. I don't think they've lost, I certainly haven't lost in the last five. I don't think they've lost in the last six or seven or eight. Look, I, I, this is boring and no one cares, but they've got the best attack in the league, the second best defense in the league. They grind out results. They've got the experience of doing this sort of thing. And like you said, like there's no way they don't come, didn't come into this year just being like, fuck all of you. <laughs> We're out of here. Last year was not cool. The eating side's quite handily as well. The last league, I think they won 5-1 in the league recently too. So, you know, they're getting their goals to back up their... Good yeah, and they're not. And, they're, like, and the other thing is that they're just not conceding either. Like they've conceded nine goals all season. We're twelve games in. Like it's uh, crew. On the other hand, are eighteenth. Everyone went in five, and you know, it's crew. If they survive this year, we're both going to be impressed in them. I think they will. Yeah. But um, they're not going to win this game though, um, and um, it will be damage limitation, as I say, for crew. Uh, but Peterborough will win three 0 Oh, I am copying your score, Ian. 3 0. Oh, you know what? I can't do this. I'm sick of this. Every time we copy scores right now, we get it right. We, we, yeah, so I'm going to go I'm gonna go 4 0. Which means you're going to get the three points. Ian, is this the main event? Oh, don't be silly. This may be the last game, but it is no main event. So I don't want to hear you giving any gravitas to this, to reading out the names. Bristol Rovers for Sweetwood Town. That was still too much. <laughs> I need, I need, I need to cool my enthusiasm down on this. It should have been done like this. Do you want me to re-record that for you? No, no, we're good, we're good. Um, so you know, this Rovers side, they're falling into the same old trap they do of having like good spells where they're good, spells where they're bad. They've only had one point from the last three games. They did go through in the FA Cup, which, as we know, is not a good thing for the League One side. Yep. Um, coming up against, as uh, uh, much as we hate them, Fleetwood are doing all right, aren't they, Tom? I think they're back. I think they're back to kind of being who they are. Uh, they're grinding out results. They've become a lot harder to beat. They're scoring goals again. Um, their form doesn't look fantastic. They've lost a couple of the last five, but like yeah, they I'll were dreadful. Yeah. Yeah. Charlton away is arguably one of the hardest games, and they lost three two. So it was know, a tight down, match. They went down swinging. Um, and yeah, it's it is this this Fleetwood side looks exactly like the side we thought would make the playoffs this year. Like it's because they're so hard to beat that you back them. And it was the beginning of the season. I think both of us were kind of like, wait, what the hell is happening? But since then, they've only conceded eleven goals all season. They're back to scoring just over a goal a game. Like they're going to win this. It's going to be easy for them because Bristol Rovers just. They're not. They're not a fighting team. They. I just. They're dead. Two nil to Fleetwood. Thomas. 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 Yeah. As much as you are trying to use logic for this, I have to question you going against the age-old tactics of very biased opinions here, which is never back Fleetwood. I know. I know. You moron. I know. You fool. You moron. I'm going to keep saying it. You moron. Bristol oh. Rovers are clearly going to win. Oh. End of the line for Fleetwood. 2-1 for the Rovers. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, it's kind of sad that we're not going to have a video to do, basically, for another week. Well, Thomas, I am going to be putting out something a little bit special this week on the channel, so stay tuned for that one. It should be dropping around about Thursday or Friday. It's a little blast from the past for all of you very biased opinions fans. Um, Is it when I couldn't do any of the title cards correctly and I couldn't get our, our theme correct and I just, just took like 50 bad takes? Well, Thomas, that is not a blast from the past. That is a blast from the present. So that is not what it is. And um, from myself and Thomas, thank you very much for everybody that watched our video. Thank you for liking. If you can hit that like button, it helps us out so much. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And hit the notify bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Click on those affiliate links because it helps us out so much. Check out Grandstand Betters. And... Some point when some Premier League or some good football returns, we will see you again. Boo in a national break! <laughs>